Hey, Sneak and Expand today. Today we've got Elive Topaz 2, a Debian based distro with Enlightenment as your desktop, and very nice it is too. So, a little round, we've got Terminal, IRC, Thunar File Manager, Firefox, Gimby is their M player, Audacious, and their installer, which is down there on the bar, as you can see, flashing away. If you click your desktop about there, or anywhere really, you get accessories with all your bits and accessories. You get demos there as well, it's pretty good. Alarm and countdown. Bluetooth, Bluetooth manager, Prozero, disk usage, energy, calculator, privacy assistant, terminal, sticky pad, don't like them. AMSN for messaging, a Samba browser, Skype's there, and your web browser, and transmission. Audacious audio CD extractor is, let's have a look, it's sound user, so that's not too bad. Prefer Sunder myself, but that's just me. Elive Essence, where music meets Elive. That's just audacious, as you've just seen now. Just brings it up. Well, I didn't have to put that there, did they really? Never mind, it's there. We'll go back to the menu again. Grafico, Gimpy, Image Viewer, Scanner, Take Screenshot, Video, Avademux, DVD, DVD Encoder, M Player, and Xene. Office is Abbey Word. Numeric games, there's a couple of games there, but obviously it's Debian based. Download what you want, can't you? Programming, a couple of bits there, others, the eLive installer, which we'll come to later. Administration, plenty of stuff there, really, isn't it? When you think about it, printing and blah blah blah. I'll go on and on, but most of this some of you will know. So I'm just showing you, really, preferences, remember it's Debian, so it's all in there. Wine configurations there, so a bit of wine there, F floppy format. You still use them, really? I don't. Anyway, that's that bit. So, all rather nice. Desktop's nice and clean. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's try one of their demos, shall we? So, I'll click on here to the IBM demo. And it's a demonstration of M player, different sizes, how it works. Looks okay to me. Oh, yeah, it looks like you're playing guitar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Uh, mm, it's just a demonstration at the end of the day, isn't it? It's just a demonstration to show you the capabilities of eLive. Now, you don't get all the capabilities until you install it. And as I said earlier, we'll come to that a little bit later. So let's get rid of all these boxes up. Get up my nerve now. Go away. That's it. Where should we go next to show you a bit more? All right, let's go down here a bit more. Emotion demo. Hmm, no, nothing happening. Okay, we'll go to the browser. We'll open up the Fox. YouTube is your start page. Look, as you can see, the World Cup's on, a month of football. Lovely, super duper. <sighs> Never mind. All right, we'll go to eLive up here on your little bar, and we'll go to their official website. So I'll click there, and we'll go straight over to the eLive website, eventually, when my net decides to play ball, which it's not at the moment. And this is the screen you get when you get there. Rather nice, really well laid out, I thought. There's a little video there for you to watch if you wanted to. So obviously they've done a little bit of work. We'll come back to that in a minute. Gives you a description of all about it, as you can see. Debian based, enlightenment, blah blah fast requirements. Three hundred and sixty four RAM, but that's minimum. Very, very minimum, and they'd like to have a decent graphics card too. You can run direct from the C D as I'm doing now, as you can see, or you can install it. Hmm, very nice. We'll come back to that. I've got a little niggle about that, I have. So we'll try their video, shall we? So we'll click. My frame rate captures are quite slow today, so don't worry if it's a bit jerky. But ain't that jerky. Not as good as my videos, is it? It's not, not clear at all. Ooh, all fuzzy. Hmm, yes. Anyway, tell you about it. We'll click off there. That's enough of that, really, isn't it? That's enough of that. So anyway, we'll click one more on the desktop. Okay, there's not, not much more to show you really, because it's not much on the CD as it stands really, not much at all. A uh, bit we're really going to have you with is the eLive installer, because I want to get it installed and do a proper review, don't I? So, click on installer, Ooh, looks all good here. I'll click complete mode with all the features of the installer, that's the one for me. Click OK. Right, here we go. In order to install eLive, you need to make a small payment. A small payment. Now, how small is small, and how large is large? We're about to find out. So I'm going to do, I'm going to click on OK there, and see what happens. Click on OK. There we go, it takes its time. What do we want to do? Automated 
for a full install. Yes, that's the one for me. So we click it. Right, you need to install the installer module and you have to get it from their site. Now to do this, they want you to pay. Right, how am I supposed to review it on an installed machine if I have to pay for it first? That's like me paying you to do it. And you go, no, you're supposed to pay me to do it. Isn't that right? Or is that wrong nowadays, obviously? Okay, so we'll open it. Now, you put your email in here. There's your installer code. And they will send you the module in your mail. No, not really no good to me, really, is it? Because I want to do it now. And I don't want to pay X amount of pounds, dollars, or whatever, or euros. So we'll click on send without my email, just if I can get around it. And no, I can't, look, because you've got to have it there. And they email it to you. Whoa. Bit disappointing, that. Bit disappointing. That's a fact. It's very disappointing, to be honest with you. Or, you know, I really want to do it. You used to be able to lo download the development uh, distro of eLive for free and installed it. And that was all hunky-dory, so that was really nice. But now there's no development ones to download. So it's not very good either. It, you know, I can't give it a, a real good review, really, can I? So the minimum they want is £15 or $15, whatever, and they email it to you. Mm. Anyway, not too late about that, really. I'll go back. It's not going to play ball there, is it? It's not going to play ball at all. So, if we look further down in that little box there, <coughs> if you have an invitation code, now this is where it gets a little bit better. So I'll click there and see what happens. So it goes to their site. What is an invitation? Right, basically, if you can't possibly do it, They'll think about it. They want you to basically write an article or do a video or something, and they may, I'll say again, they may send you an invitation code. Bear in mind that the code is only for that one you download. You can't put it on loads of others, it won't work on any others. Only for that particular one. But yeah, that's one way of getting being able to install it. So I've done this video, like, and so we'll see what happens. Yeah, never know. I don't care really. I'm not really too bothered if they send me one or not, to be honest with you. But it would be nice to be able to install it, and then you, maybe you get a 30-day trial of it installed, and then afterwards you have to pay something, if they, if you really have to pay for it, really, in the day. A bit disappointing. Uh, if you, once you do it, go to their contact page or email them, and they may send you the thing. Yeah. Okay. Disappointing, disappointing, disappointing. It'd be really nice if you just get a development version, like we used to be able to do it. That was a nice way of doing it, really. But this way we're doing it now is not so good is it i don't think so because it runs really nice and i like enlightenment and everything else but it would have just been really nice to be able to do a proper installation beforehand okay sneaky linux going out to the school i'll see you later bye bye